Hello, my name's Paul, support engineer for Tipco Jaspersoft, and today I'm going to show you how to drill down from a chart and a dashboard to a report. So the prerequisites for this video is you'll need access to creating a dashboard or report, in the example, a table report with a shared parameter as the dashboard and the ability to save to a folder. Dashboard drill down use case. We're using the sample data included in the bundled installation of dash report server to simulate the units ordered. Then we're drilling on to a report that shows the units sold for those products. We will drill through to a new window for the report to be shown. So let's go ahead and start to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and open Jasper Report Server. I'm going to log in. Uh, here the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an ad hoc view. In this example, I'm going to use a Supermart domain. I'm going to select Sales, hit OK. And then here I'm going to drag over some relevant data. Let's make sure we switch this to a table. Go ahead and add the brand, product name, and then let's go ahead and do the store sales. And then let's do the store name too. Go ahead and change this a little bit, drag that over there. Okay, so what we're going to use in our shared parameter is the store name. So we're going to click on that, create filter. So we're going to create a filter on that, and we can select store one. It doesn't matter what parameter we use. I'm just selecting that one just to make sure it's being used. And then here we're going to go ahead and save and create. So here I'm going to save this into our test folder I already made. And this one I'm going to name a test view one. And the second one I'm going to name test report one. The test report one is what we'll be using with our dashboard. Save. So there I just like, for example, I just created a simple report. This is just used to show the uh, chart drill through or drill down, excuse me. So here now we're going to create dashboard. Again, we're just gonna create something real quick on the fly, just for an example. We're gonna go ahead and create chart. We're gonna use the Supermart domain. Here we're gonna click over inventory, hit OK. So here we're gonna drag over some relevant data. Let's do store name, uh, let's do brand, brand name. Uh, and then again, we're using the store name as our parameter. So let's do units ordered. So let's do store name, create filter, switch that to store one, just in case, apply. And there you go. This is all the units ordered for store one. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, here we can name this, uh, let's do chart one. Save. So here, the next option we do to link them together is we're going to right click, go to properties. Here we're going to go to hyperlinks, enable hyperlink, or enable chart hyperlink, excuse me. Um, the action we're going to take is actually we're going to open to a new page. Now it's going to ask us for a web address or repository URI. So here we're going to browse for our report. I believe it was test one, test report one. Hit OK there. Now in order for this to work, we got to map the parameters. So hit yes there. Let's go ahead and add a parameter here. Chart one, store name. Hit OK. So now we're going to take a look at our, our dashboard. So now when we click on this dashboard, it's going to take us to the report we just created at the beginning of the video. And here's our report. So as you can see, this is the full report that's loaded here and it brought us to a new window. That way it doesn't interrupt this chart if you're still looking at it or you still need details from this. Again, you can do this with any kind of report as long as they have a shared parameter. So essentially you're just drilling down to more details of the report. So in my example, I used the units ordered and then I went to the sales here, as you can see. My name's Paul. I'm a support engineer for Tipco Jaspersoft. Thank you for watching.